So we're going to do the bread first, and then we'll do the juice second. So let's go ahead and open it up a little bit. It's got the two sections to open, so the top's the bread and the second's the juice. Go ahead, just take mine. All right, so let's get the bread open and the juice open. So... Everybody ready? It's kind of hard to open it. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for taking the beating for us. We thank you for going to that cross. We thank you for paying for all the sins of the entire world. We thank you, Lord, that when you were on that cross, we were on your mind. You were thinking about us. Lord, we thank you for your sacrifice, and we thank you for your body that was broken for us. And Lord, we take this bread tonight as a remembrance, remembering what you did for us on that cross. So Lord, as we take the bread, we can take the bread first. And then Lord, we know what this juice represents. We know it represents your blood. Lord, we're thankful for your blood that was shed on that cross. Lord, for all the blood that you shed, your blood can cleanse us from all sin. And Lord, I know that's what your word says in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So there is no sin that you cannot forgive us for. As long as we repent of our sins and confess them, you've promised to forgive us. There is no blood stronger than yours. And Lord, so we take this as a representation of your blood for what you did for us on that cross. We can take the blood in Jesus' name. Amen. And that last part in 1 Corinthians, guys, where it, it talks about, you know, we do this in remembrance of him. 
And when we do this, we proclaim his death until he comes. So just like in that movie that we just watched, we know that his return is imminent, which means he could come back any second. So Jesus always wants us to be ready and have our art, our hearts, our ears, our minds, our ears open to him, open to his voice. So we're going to get ready to sing a song and the song we're going to, well, if you don't know, we're just going to kind of worship with it for a second. And we're going to go around and pray for you. The song is called Hosanna. And uh, in that song, Hosanna, that phrase, Hosanna, does anybody know what that phrase means? No, it's up ahead. So it means like, save us. We pray, save us. Yeah, you probably did. So in church, we mentioned Hosanna too. So Hosanna literally means they're praising God. They're, they're giving him a sign of adoration. They're worshiping Jesus when he came into, into Jerusalem on that donkey. Excuse me, on that donkey. And uh, they were saying, literally, God, we pray that you save us. They're praising God, their Savior. So we're going to worship a little bit through this song, and then we're going to pray with you after that.